All right, today I've got a Fuchs in that is showing some interesting behavior. So I've got the power tubes all hooked up right now because one of these tubes has a problem where it's sparking and glowing and I wanted to catch it on video because I cannot remember for the life of me which tube it was. So I'm just gonna flip it basically um, on, let those tubes heat up a little bit. It's got a fan that helps cool the tubes, I guess, in this guy. It's got uh, four EL 34s and uh, so we're gonna try and turn it on and just get a little bit of that dazzling sparkle and then shut it right back off again. I th it's one of these two and I don't remember which one, but um, here goes. And there we just saw it. Okay, so it is this guy. I checked the underside and we'll flip this over in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one now so I know I'm pretty suspicious that it's this tube. Um, we'll go ahead and shut it all the way off. I think this tube is bad. I will take it and put it on my tester and test it in a minute. But for now, I uh, now know what the tube is. I'm going to flip it over really quickly and show you guys what the inside of it looks like. And we'll come back after the cut when I've got that set up. All right. So if you look in this general area here, this is that tube socket. I don't see anything blackened here or anywhere on this board for that matter. It was only the arcing that was going on around there. It's kind of interesting to take a look at this layout as well. They've done a circuit board layout, but they have it kind of isolated to just this section here. It looks like um, they've got some pretty good filtering going on across each stage, across these caps. They have the main power filtering over to the right. We'll, we'll kind of, I'm gonna do a little bit of pan and scan across the amp so you can see that. But as you can see, this is the main power tubes and they t looked like they hooked directly into some of this along here. I haven't done the, uh, the deep looking, but this is hopefully some of you guys that are big fans of these Fuchs can pause and look. But a uh, very interesting look. I've not seen anything like this so far in my uh, amp repair, but I'm not some seasoned veteran at this point. I've only been doing it a little over a year. So, But uh, very cool looking layout. I like that style. Um, but uh, we'll uh, probably just do the test of the tube, like I said, and make sure that looks okay. And if it does, I mean, if that looks bad, and if it does, then we'll try a different tube in there and make sure it works. And he said he may put a, a matched set in to replace it, but at least we'll know it was just the tube. So there you have it. All right, I'm gonna try and do a handheld slide across. This is that uh, main power filtering section I mentioned. You can see, hopefully you can see the, um, the bridge rectification happening there. Some heavy filtering that comes along. That was a section we saw the other angle of the power section and all of these filter capacitors as well as all of the tone and whatnot tone shaping and then down to a relay board and then you can see kind of this is more the the input section they've got a little bit smaller board that you can't quite see here but i'm not going to be taking it apart because this is a customer's amp but at least we can get a little view of what a fuchs looks like on the inside Sorry if this is a little shaky. I'm trying to do it a handheld just so I can get a good view of it. I don't have the right lens really to be kind of getting a wider angle shot of this guy. So and I'll get a top shot here in a second. All right, here's a bit of the top view. Got some big beefy transformers there. There's you saw the side view with those power tubes, but. Uh, looking pretty robust power and output transformers they've got quite a few preamp tubes one two three four five six different preamp tubes and i think it seems to me like it's probably styled after like the jcm 800 in fact if you look at this output transformer it says right on the top let me see if that's focused it says jcm 800 right there on the top um so it's definitely a kicking amp i uh, would like to hear it myself once i get this put together if i've got a chance just to plug it in and play it a little bit but uh, we'll see what happens with a different tube in there okay so I did have a spare tube and I tested it it tests okay but it also oddly enough got quite warm just even on the tester the tester doesn't put it to the kind of voltage a real amp will but I'm gonna turn the AC power on this guy let it warm up and we'll turn it on and see if we get any of that kind of arcing and sparking once it gets warm but we have to give it a second to just warm up and then we'll go
Getting a teeny bit of static, but no arcing. Looks so far like we're good. I've got, uh, probably have a little instrument jack here somewhere. I can plug into it at least to get a little bit of that static noise from the room, just so we see if we've got audio output as we'd expect. Oops. Okay, so I can get a little, yep, seems like we're working. So I think it was just a tube, nothing else seems wrong, so I will let the customer know. But that was a cool, hopefully for you guys, nice sparky little tube action going on, and uh, if that turned out okay, and we've got the uh, everybody a chance to t take a peek at a Fuchs um, on the innards. So, all right, so there you have it. Uh, let me know if in the uh, comments below if you have any questions or concerns. Please like this video if you do like it, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep uh, all kinds of cool content coming for you guys like this. One other side note, I, I apologize, I forgot to film this, but uh, the last thing I was doing was biasing the tubes and I noticed they were really hot and running away even again. And so that's what probably ended up killing that other tube. So I dialed the bias back to the normal 70% dissipation rating and things sounded way better and it uh, turned out way better. And I wish I would have recorded that for you. But at any rate, uh, it's another thing to always make sure you check is that the bias is set well for the tubes. So thanks everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section. Bye.